This piece um, was painted by Yuri Karabash and myself. It was commissioned by a gentleman by the name of Johnny G that he goes by here in Williamsport. And it's of U2. Um, I started by painting Bana here and then my partner Yuri came in and, and uh, continued with the other pieces. This is the first painting that I've ever done in my career of the thousands of portraits that I've done that's larger than life size. And I really love doing it, and I love the result. Um, this band is an incredible band. Not only is their music very powerful, but what they're about um, and what they do with philanthropy around the world is incredible. And Johnny G, who commissioned it, bought an orphanage through U2 for his son, which his son is in charge of 20 kids through this orphanage that he helps that wouldn't be alive today probably if it wasn't for, for that philanthropy through U2. Um, so this piece was a present to his son um, for his bedroom. So this is going to leave here and go into his son's bedroom. We're also going to do prints of this painting um, and sell prints of it. Um, and some of that money will go towards the orphanage and some of it will go towards the work we're doing here with public art. Um, Johnny G himself is, uh, is portrayed on the mural and his son is portrayed on the mural outside. Um, who 3,000 kids came to his son's funeral, not the son that this painting was painted for, but Johnny G was a heroin addict in New York when he was working on the buildings like the Twin Towers. Um, he became addicted to heroin because of heights, actually. A lot of people were taking heroin for heights. He was thrown out of a third-story window. Um, he owed, they thought he OD'd, the people in this kind of like crack house situation, and he was lucky. By the grace of God, he landed in a dumpster. He found the Lord after that and has... Hundreds of people here in the Williamsport area has helped them to get away from addiction um, and bring them closer to the Lord. What did he do in terms of heights? Um, he was uh, he did the glass work for the Twin Towers. He did the glass on the buildings of the Twin Towers. Um, and somehow, here in Bono's thing, I wanted to reflect that, and I probably will, um, through the glass here of that, because it's it's a story that's... It happens all the time, you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're lucky when somebody that is pushed into the dark side finds their way out and helps those who are also trapped in that dark side come out. And that's really what Johnny G has done. And I think that because of that, I spent an extra amount of time on this painting um, because of who he is, because of what U2 is all about. It really is a synergy between that kind of love, you know, and you can see the seriousness in their faces. This piece was taken from photographs of U2, one of the favorite pictures his son had of U2. It was a black and white picture that we then um, made into color and then changed it with the mood and the shadowing and stuff like that to, um, to make it a different piece. And, uh, and I'm very, very proud of this, of this piece. I want to do one similar to it, but life-size, where you actually see the whole figures going down on the side of a building with shadows cast. It may be the history of rock and roll, if I'm lucky enough, um, with all different characters and, and genres of music. But I'm glad that U2 is the first to, um, to be larger than life by my hand, by Yuri's hand. <laughs>